forward I'm not prepared to put leave short. to pay for the documents available to everybody. Question number two, Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Revenue and asks how much tax revenue is forecast from the predicted increase in log export volumes over the next four years? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Revenue, the government's tax revenue forecasts are calculated on a whole economy basis and are not generally separated into industry sectors of the type the member is seeking. Now, obviously, everything else being equal, an increase in export volume should increase domestic profit and therefore tax revenue. But at the granular level the member is requesting, it's not possible to give him any sort of accurate estimate. Supplementary question, Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary. Does he concede the fact that greater volumes of timber being processed in mills, such as Red Stag Timber in his own electorate, would lead to greater revenue for the government and reduced unemployment? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Revenue, um, that doesn't necessarily follow. It would depend very much, for example, on the profitability of the uh, foresters versus, for example, the profitability of the processing company. If the pro processing company was not profitable, then obviously it wouldn't be paying any tax. So um, I don't think you can make any sort of assumption based on just a suggestion about one uh, type of uh, company versus another. Supp supplementary question, Richard Prosser. Is he aware of the significant financial benefits to the government and to the regions of processing those logs for export here in New Zealand with Kiwi workers, rather than just exporting large volumes of unprocessed logs offshore? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Revenue, I think we're getting away from his portfolio a little bit. Uh, but in terms of his specific question, I don't think you can uh, make necessarily make assumptions uh, in regards to it. There are, I'm aware that there are a number of organisations looking at doing more processing in this country um, in a number of different uh, markets. Uh, and presumably, if that turns to be economically viable, that will be done. But I think uh, some of the advice that I've seen in this regard is that uh, it's actually the control of the value chain right to the consumer which really creates the value. So it's not just enough to create a processing plant uh, in a region as against, for example, uh, having control of the brand right across to wherever you're selling the product. Supplementary question, Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Would he, in the light of the considerable benefits, consider adopting policies aimed at increasing the domestic processing of timber, such as New Zealand First's lower domestic log price? If not, why not? Uh, Honourable Stephen Joyce, in as far uh, as Mr. That's Speaker, with the revenue portfolio. On behalf of the Minister of Revenue, I'm not really, again, sure that how close this is to the, the revenue portfolio, but I think it would be difficult to suggest uh, that the government should necessarily just go out there and buy fiat to declare a price on logs, although it would fit with the Greens' power policy, of course. Um, but uh, I think probably the best approach is to, uh, to let, the, uh, let the competitive forces play. And it is important to note, of course, that the forestry industry, including the logging industry, has made a very big contribution to New Zealand's exports currently. Question number three, Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister.